Let's say you have a couple of parts that you'd like to machine out, but you'd like to machine out multiple copies of each one. One way to do that is through the nesting of toolpaths. So under toolpaths, and go to nesting here, and it brings up this little tab. And the first thing it asks you is the size of your sheet. And we're going to do this out of a small um, piece of aluminum plate, um, 12 inches in the X and 10 inches in the Y. And then the next up, um, choice that we have is um, create necessary quantity. What this is talking about is the quantity of sheets. Let's say you chose so many parts that it didn't fit on one sheet. It would just make multiple sheets to ensure that they all fit. I just want to use one sheet, so I'm just going to do quantity of one. And I also want to have a, a little bit of a margin, so I'm going to set up a half inch margin here. The next thing I'm going to do is pull in a couple of parts that I've already done the tool paths for. And so I can right click here and I'm going to go add operation clusters from files. What this means is I'm going to take in all of the operations um, as one cluster or all the tool paths as one cluster from each specific file. And so I've already done the tool paths for a couple files here. I'll pull those in um, for a bearing retainer here and a um, chassis back corner gusset. And once I pulled those in, I can select the quantity that I want. And I want four of the bearing retainers and I want two of the gussets here. And once I've chosen that, I can go to parameters here. And this is talking about how you would like um, the tool paths to be sorted. I basically just want um, the tool number to ascend. The way we have our tools is the smallest number is the smallest bit and so we'll just work up from there. But you can see all of the different options you have here. Once I have that I can click OK. Looks like everything's fitting. If everything didn't fit it would tell me. Um, but since it, it does I'm just going to hit OK here. Next thing I'll do is just set up my stock so we can s um, verify this properly. And it was 10 inches in the X and 12 or 10 inches in the Y and 12 in the X and it was an eighth inch thick and we can hit OK here and then verify the part we'll fit that to the screen and you can see that it's using an eighth inch end mill to drill the, or to contour out the holes and to contour out these little bearing retainers and then once done with that it'll jump to a quarter inch end mill to mill out the rest and it looks like everything's great